Mithorn is a perfect example of what not to do when facing an assault. The blacksmith doesn't hand out weapons and armor to the soldiers, and it's an orc. Well, the orc part is the first mistake made. Then the defenders either don't have weapons or they run and hide. The ones at the gate who stood their grounds were quickly cut down. Worse, no one inside does anything to help defend the castle. The Count sits on his throne and does nothing, and all the others say it's up to the soldiers to protect them. So of course it all fell. If I was a Daedric Prince and this was my realm, then I might have given them the same curse just for their idiocy. However, that being said, I don't know when this all happened, but judging by the decay of the castle, most likely a few hundred years. At least in the outside it's in terrible shape. The inside not as much. But it happened a long time ago. And I don't think the curse should carry on forever just for people being selfish, stupid, and mad. Especially when being mad is a blessing here in this realm, and the first two are common everywhere. So, I will do what I can to fix this situation for them, even though I'm not really getting anything out of it. That's just what happens when you reach the top in terms of wealth and equipment and skill. You have nothing to do but to elevate those below you. And for me, this will be another case of that. I've noticed that Shiagorath seems to tolerate madness in some forms and is intolerant of others. To me, the outward projection of madness seems like an inability to have your mind get over or around issues that to that person make no sense. That and rambling on about things that don't exist, and all of it due to past trauma. So I would surmise that those least susceptible to madness are those with the least trauma and the highest intelligence. Well, I do have the latter, so that should help me. I don't believe that I'm immune, but I do believe that I am wearing armor to help weather me through it. My intelligence, my ability to think things through, will help me to get through the Shivering Isles intact. At least, that is my hope. It just runs when the attackers come. She doesn't even have a weapon. Oh no, she does now. She's got a bow. He ran inside. Disserratus. Okay, well, we have to wait for it to reset, but what happens on the inside? It's like nothing happened at all. Okay. Of all the there they are. You are the nice. There, there, he already ran. I guess we'll have to wait for it to reset again. Alright, reset. Here we go. Please! I must find my betrothed! Who is your betrothed? Is, is it that doll that I burned up? You burned her? She's gone? You've driven all meaning from my life. I shall throw myself upon the swords of the fanatic so that I may join her sooner. Instead of running, it's much better. Coward. What's left? You said four, right? Well, he's supposed to kill another one. So, perhaps the raiders have come out from here. Or he can get himself killed. But they are killing him. Evenly matched and they still got destroyed. Was my sin so great that I must suffer for all eternity? Would seem so. Goodbye. Now, did I speak to the blacksmith about giving weapons uh, to the other ghosts? 
That's the only thing I can think of. I think it was right here, was it not? Uh, that would mean me turning this way, going this way. No. Going the wrong way. The I fanatics don't know. enter. I at least from know. what I've seen. They don't enter into here. Maybe he's over there, on the other side. No. The reservoir, isn't that? That's where I came from. I'm getting confused as to where to go. So this is way... Is that what the soldiers are paid to do? It is the role of lesser men to fight. You would think by now those stupid ghosts would have figured out that they weren't supposed to just do that. Or at least that's what, uh, Shigorath would not have them do. You there. I'm watching you. Not so close to the armory door. A little late for that. You there. I'm watching you. Not so close to the armory door. Oh, he closes it. And locks it. I'm keeping Vytharn's weapons and armor safe from thieves and miscreants. That would probably be me. All right, then. Goodbye. Everyone wants my weapons. But they're my weapons. Mine! Hmm, the fool. What's the point of making them if they never get used? Aboard. He killed one of them. I've changed the actions of three of the defenders. Yet one of the fanatics still gets past the defenders. There is nothing more I can do here. Maybe Count Syrian can help me. And he survived. Oh, I guess he's gonna die to the ones coming through the gate. This is nice. Don't you think so? Not really. I don't like this place. Alright, uh My people long to be laid to rest. Who's the fourth Please person that you want me them. to convince to fight? I feel something different. The curse feels lighter somehow. Hmm. Curse is not lifted though. The defenders of the gate were not the only ones to fail their town. My greatest shame is that I was struck by cowardice and fled. Like my people, I am doomed to repeat the actions of my cowardice. Alone, I cannot redress this wrong. However, you can. Take my helm. With it, you can take my place in the defense of the gate. Defeat the devoted fanatic in combat. And the curse will be lifted. Hmm. Sounds easy. Be enough. warned, though. While you wear the helm, it is as if you are one of us. You are trapped in these ruins until you lift our curse. Hmm. Which could also mean that I could be forever stuck here, cursed. Interesting helm. A little rusted now. Huh. It's actually kind of hideous, but... Oh well. What the... Why is there a mud crab in here? Maybe it doesn't even see the ghosts. Alright, let's go kill ourselves one of these fanatics. Will these ones attack me, or just the ones ah. coming from behind? Here they come. Oh, oh this one's hitting me. I don't think I killed it. Velia, you found it. Good job. I've defeated the devoted fanatic. The curse of Vitharn has been lifted. I hope so. Can't loot him, though. Let's go inside. You have lifted the curse. All of Vitharn thanks you. Vithorn. You may keep my helmet. It never did me much good. 
Well, I don't think it's going to do me much good either. Well, actually, it's a pretty good helmet. For melee, it's really good. Good enchantment. It just kind of looks awful. I got the Great Cal of Nocturna, which I can only use, I guess, if I'm thieving. Uh, you know what? Maybe I will use the helmet. It is very good. It's enchantment for heavy armor and fortified block. Doesn't look that good. Well, I couldn't... Couldn't look worse for being here. I mean, I'm in the Shivering Isles where everyone's crazy. The ghosts of Ithorn have been laid to rest. Still. This brazier's lit. Let's get out of here. I'm tired of the storm and the rain. I guess the curse of the rain isn't going to go away anytime soon. Water breathing, which we don't want. Water breathing, detect life. You know, I can actually see Shigoreth having a water breathing and water walking enchantment on one item. Just to uh, kind of make you go nuts. <laughs> Alright, well. Here, ring of skimming for water walking. Of course, it's late at night. Zidite and Vithar. Backwash camp. Well, maybe the, we can go sleep at the camp? I mean, I teleport. I don't know if it'll even work. My st stone to teleport to Frostcrag Tower. And if it does, it's going to be a real pain to get back here. So, I think teleportation is off for a while. Unless I can find a way, a means to teleport within. Shivering Isles. There's a camp. Horrid looking dog. I don't like heavy armor. It makes me feel so bad. Heavy armor makes me feel protected. Well, we can rest here. Wolfgang, listen for anything. Keep keep your ears and your nose uh, ready. Or active. Whatever you dogs do. Just be ready for any intruders, okay? We're going to rest here. <sighs> it's not that, actually. It's not bad here. Oh, well, you ready? Good job, Wolfgang. Alright. Well... We've got a long walk home to uh, Sh New Shioth. But you know, it's just to the south. That's Vithon. Keep an eye out for anything, any settlements along the way. I thought that I heard that there was a settlement here. I'm really moving fast. I don't. I need to change what I'm using. No, mundane ring. Necklace of swords. Mundane ring. And... Oh yes, the uh, black band. Keep me well protected. I think I have another tongue from a hunger, so I'm going to look for that putrescence on the way back. There's one. Have you ever had a this sensible no conversation with someone in this place? Not really. Isn't that... I don't know what it's doing. Oh, this one's dead. It's still moving at all. Weird. Let's get one of these putrescence things. Ah, no good. That one's especially putrescent. Looks like there's a, a door over there? Huh.
There's more. Another one. Still moving about. Maybe they don't actually die. You just kind of put them down for a while and they come back. Uh, congealed protrescence. And... Hunger tongue. There we go. Fire poison. Alright, well, let's go back to Nushioth then. Give me a bit of a trip. Just out of curiosity, I see that the road goes kind of north, north by... North by northwest. But there's a road that turns off from here that's not on my map. And this map could be really old. Who knows? But out of curiosity, I would just like to see where I've it goes because we're going towards the coast. Crazy. But I do like you. You were a little odd, too. I do love you. What is this? Some ruins? Oh. Oh, maybe it's a little village? But are they growing something in the water? They almost look like crops. What is this place? Well, my map is saying it's Falmore. Well, let's see about these crazy people who live here. I haven't really spoke to too many people in Dementia. Khajiits. Hello. And a good day to you, sir. Well, you're in Dementia. Aren't you supposed to be all down about everything? Perhaps you are the one. No, probably not. Never oh. mind. But then again... Am I the Ran one to fulfill some prophecy? A hero, but I'm not certain you are to be that one. First, you must earn his trust. This is Felmore, right? This looks like a farm, doesn't it? Yes. That's what they want you to think. Oh. Truth be told, these plants are monsters. Really? They sleep below the water. They dream terrible dreams, and one day soon, they will rise up, consume us, and the rest of the Shivering Isles. Get out while you can. I don't actually believe that to be true, but anyways. Who is Renard Joe, and I, why do I need his trust? Now, how is he supposed to trust you if I don't trust you? If you'll excuse me, I have work to do. I need oh. to collect five pod bits. Five pod bits? Okay. I mean, these things? Monsters beneath. Okay, so... Two. Three. That's four. And five. That yes. was easy enough. Yes. Oh, look. You have some pod bits. I need five of those myself. You can have them. Take these five pod bits. How kind of you. When I'm restored to my rightful place, I will give you a palace in the clouds. Sure or was that will. a palace made of clouds? Probably made of clouds. Either way, you will have a piece of blue sky. Thank you for something you can never refill, uh, fulfill. Anyways, what's this about Reinhardt Joe's trust? He needs a hero for something? Some prophecy I'm supposed to fulfill? I've heard that a few times. Yes, of course he can trust you. Give him this spoon. He'll know what it means. This what? Spoon? Ugh, these people. What am I supposed to do with the spoon? I once killed a minotaur with that spoon. Sure. It's a mighty Daedric artifact. Mm-hmm. All right. Heard any... Well... Let's just go with crazy rumors lately. Truth be told, the Resonator of Judgment doesn't actually do anything. Who cares if it's been reactivated? Oh, you mean Zedillion? Oh, okay. Goodbye. See you. Well, it does something. It's supposed to stop people from, uh... Coming in here without permission of, uh... Shigorath. What? Let's go and look What are you doing? Aliens. Did you talk to Kishashi? I can't trust you if she doesn't. It's nothing personal, really. It's just that everyone else is out to get me. Wouldn't surprise me if you were here spying on me for you-know-who. 
No, I don't Did know. Did Kishashi send you with something? A certain utensil <laughs> or weapon, depending on who you ask. I have a Minotaur killing spoon here. Let me see that. G give it here. Where did you get this? This belongs to Kishashi. Oh, did Sindanwe send you to steal this? But How nine. did you get this from Kishashi? Uh, she gave me the spoon to give to you. Oh, then she must really trust you. Still, I better hold on to it just in case. Sindanwi is always trying to hurt my sweet Kishashi. Wouldn't want a slave driver to get her hands on this spoon. Hmm. Who's Sindanwi? Well, I suppose I can trust you. You did bring me the spoon. Sindanwi is pure evil. She must be stopped at all costs. However, she knows everything about all of us. Keeps notes about everything. Everything! She knows so much about us that she can read our minds. But she doesn't know about you yet. So, you must do it. Get rid of her. Get rid of Sindanwe. Okay, how do I get rid of Sindanwe? Well, there's the obvious way. But... Don't let us see you do it. Hmm. Sheogorath has a thousand eyes and ears. Or you could make her life so miserable that she leaves us alone. She needs everything just so. So sneak into her house and wreck the place. <laughs> and confiscate her notebook. She carries it wherever she goes. That actually Recording sounds like more fun. all our secret thoughts. I need that book. My thoughts belong to me. Oh, she's taking your thoughts from you, has she? Hmm. Can you tell me about Felmore? Watch yourself while you're here. Sindanwe is out for us. Yes, yeah, so you've said. She cares for nothing but work, and she keeps us as slaves. Well, there's nothing wrong with work, but... Being slaves is... no. Um, heard any rumors lately? Don't run into the water to escape a Scalon. They'll follow you. You mean those big troll-type things that live in the water? Goodbye. Take care. Greetings. Hello. Be quick, please. I have a farm to run. It isn't going to run itself now, is it? You can probably turn that chin into an arrowhead. Really sharp. Can you tell me about Thelmore? We are a farming community. Nothing more, nothing less. That is, when I can get these layabouts to actually put in a day's work. Relan is the only one around here worth a damn. And that's only because he loves to kill his pests. <laughs> okay. So, do you keep a note on everything? A notebook? How do you know about that? It's private. I don't trust you enough to talk about it. Hmm. Well, maybe I can get you to trust me. Let's talk we'll for a while. see. Is that so? Good one. Don't try to man- <sighs> Gracious, what a hero. Don't try to manip- Gracious, what- Good one. You can't scare me. Such a... Sure, that's cute. You can't... Don't waste your flattery on me. Gracious, what a hero. You can't scare me. Not bad. What nonsense. Hmm. Such adventure. Is that so? That's... Don't try to manipulate me. My life is... Oh, that's... What nonsense! Not now. My l you can't. Sk not bad. Not bad at all. You can't skip. Good one. Don't. W I salute you. Most impressive. Well, we've talked for a while, but I don't think you fully trust me. So, here's some gold. That, that will get. Every little bit helps. As much as I can do to, to kind of convince her to like me. Excellent. Unless I enchant her, I might have to. So, about that notebook. How do you know about that? It's private. 
I don't trust you enough to talk about it. Uh, of course. Uh, heard any rumors lately? If you visit Highcross, speak with Muralee Alvin. She needs help with her project. Highcross? Mira Alvin. Hi. I don't know where Highcross is. Milkar. Hard Scrabble. Gates of Madness. Flooded Camp. Well, I mean, I was never really good with talking to people. The only thing I can think of is to throw an enchantment upon her. I still don't know if this is going to work. Be quick, please. I have a farm to run. It isn't going to run itself now, is it? Maybe I should try to make a better illusion spell. So, about the notebook. It's my private journal. I write in it every day. Sometimes more than once. It's something I have to do. It keeps my thoughts from unraveling. Hmm. Can I look through it? Well, I've never shown it to anyone else before, but I feel I can trust you. Here, look it over. But bring it right back, okay? Oh, you had it on your person. Okay. Take care. Hmm. Well, what's going to happen if uh, she leaves? How are the people here survive? I don't know. Not my concern. <laughs> I don't really care. So let's see. Where is it? Sedanwi's notebook. The sun listens to my greenness, but where did the moon frown? The sky is empty of children and the earth eats strawberries. Yet, why do the worms taste of bitter plum? I think she's as mad the, as the others. Everyone is bereft of spores, or the spores have devoured us all and we are left with nothing, or everything is inside us. <laughs> Though we find ourselves swimming in rock, where strange things remain and known things fall outside of their own selves, let alone from each of us. Why play the paintbrush against her? She always stands close to being far away. And what of the farm, then? Shall it twinkle in the breeze of lyricism? How should I know? What I do know is this. The grass drinks flowers, flower dust like a glass... Bead swallows taste... I don't know why I want to say bed. A glass bead swallows taste nothing like water. Huh, okay. And furthermore, wherever... One finds the absence of something, that something surely exists someplace else, or else how could it be absent? There is wisdom in this. Alright then. Yes, and everything has its place, and every place its thing belonging to it. It is the way of all things. Well, that's kind of true, but everything else is rubbish. Even those things misplaced know where they belong. They long to be. That is the whole point of belonging. Is it not? And yet... We are never so lonely as the stars, as when we find ourselves possessed. Of love, of death, of what then, life? But they call me enemy, even as they exalt me. Yet even the wind is slave to the clouds. But the rain? It bounces against the sky like apples in a basket. And for what? What shall become of us when the pod pits die? I would like to think that the bleak summer does not herald the death of the rain. But who is to say one way or the other? If the butterflies make up the walls, oh, that makes sense. That's how I came in to the Shivering Isles. How does one see inside a room at night? Perhaps the room is already inside us and we are the ones who need occupants and our occupants are the ones needing the light. But I digress. The spoon that slays monsters is always the last to enter the mouth and the first to leave. Nor do eyes in the back of one's head mean that one can walk backwards. Do the knees bend that way? Do the shoes point heavenward? No, we are stuck falling forward until we smash against the door of eternity. That is the essence of life, to be devoured in our own banality, though we wish to be something more. I love this life, but I hate the aftertaste, like walk waking from a dream with someone's fingers in your mouth. <laughs> how, how did they get there? Whose hand do they belong to? Whose hand do any of us belong to, really? It always comes back to belonging, does it not? It does. As the question knows the answer, the answer belongs to the question, and that is the whole point. I think to know the question and thus to belong to the answer. That is why I must write in this book every day, sometimes twice. The others are jealous of the windflowers that bloom in these pages. 
They desire to swallow the ink through their nostrils, <laughs> tasting the bitterness of all that life has in store for them. But it is my life that belongs to me, even as my house belongs to the things inside it. And insides belong to outsides. And outsides are never quite as free as to do as they think they are. Always this, one thing after another, but not some things. <laughs> some things are better left where they think they are, not where they really are. Not all places are equal, nor all things belonging to the same spot. How could that be? No, surely not. <laughs> it actually is... In a way, it almost seems like this is what I would conjure up in my head while dreaming. Odd. While my sun shines through the moon's teeth, then it will be time. But not until. Until then, I shall continue to smash my head through windows so that I might see where I am. Where here is, where I belong, and all things being just so. So I be just, and justice is important in this life, is it not? How else can a life be justified but by this? The sun is forever moving. I must get back to work. I am grateful. I have this place to put through my thoughts, lest they become lost and confused as I am. Though I'll never let the others see that. They think I have everything in control. Hmm. You are just as mad as the others. Is that what you're trying to do, is steal the book from her? Hey, Renarjo. Did you wreck Sindanwi's place yet? You know, move her stuff around. <laughs> She hates when things aren't in their place. Yes, so you told me. Uh, but we shouldn't be seen talking until the mission is accomplished. Especially right next to her. Well, which place is Sindanwi's? I would think this one. That could be wrong. Oh, she's coming. Kind of. Not like there's guards that are going to haul me away to prison. All right. Ah, I like an ordered place too, so this is going to bother me. Down you go. Wreck everything. No mead. Black tar. Don't really see that too often, do you? Oh, I only need a little bit. I put Sidanwe's house in disarray. I should speak with Renarjo and tell him the mission is accomplished. Not quite. To put my mind to something. It's such a crime. I wonder if I'm about to catch a cold. I don't know about getting sick here in the Shivering Isles. Probably not a good idea. They probably think you've improved being sick. All right. Well, that's good enough. Got ingredients laid out in each one for each. Okay, Renarjo, Have stop falling around. No wonder you don't get any work done. I guess I've wrecked her place. <laughs> that should keep her occupied. She'll spend months putting everything back in place. Or five minutes. Thank you for your help. Here, take these. I was using it to ward off Sindanwe's evil mind control magic. I don't need it now. <laughs> okay. Ring of mind shielding. Oh, thank you. What about this notebook? Excellent. Let me see that. Aha! It's right here, written in her old hand. She is planning to murder us all. I knew it. I'll hold on to this. You don't want to get caught by the authorities with it, do you? What authorities? I suppose I should give you something in exchange. Here. This book might be of use to you. Now leave before someone sees us talking. Go. Go, go, go. Well, that was interesting.
Do I even want to stick around and see what happens? Greetings. Kishashi. Thank you for helping us overthrow the tyrant. <laughs> but you must understand that as queen, I'm very busy ruling over the Shivering Isles. Run along. These people are truly nuts. Let's get out of here. Let's regret coming here. Why did they build the... What? What is the purpose of building these? <laughs> oh, there's another home over there. Okay, let's put on the, my water walking. Ring. Is this part of Felmore? Oh, look. You made a big mistake. Little camp. Why do they have camps all over? I don't know. Maybe there's just not that many places to sleep. This gives you a place to camp out. Well, yeah, what? A rat? Yes, a rat. Apparently rats came through here into... Oh. Shivering Isles. The ravings of Fenroy? Oh, what is this? The following pieces were gathered from the author's cell shortly before his untimely death at his own hands, written primarily on bedsheets and the bare stone of his floor. Using only his own bodily fluids for ink, some of the transcriptions represent the editor's best guesses at the author's true intent. <laughs> I have read some strange things in my life, but I think this uh, takes the cake. Mother said there was no reason. It's just the way it is. Mother lies. I can see rain. I can feel rain. I can only feel wind. Someone is hiding. If I walk through the forest, the birds stop singing. They're talking about me, I'm sure of it. They're just too scared to do it to my face. Boat, moat, coat, float, goat, note, wrote, secret name, secret name, secret name. He touches me when I'm not looking. Sometimes I hear the people talking about their days. They talk about family and the weather and yesterday and tomorrow. They say, what a good day it was and how was your day and have a nice day. Actually, I do hear that a lot from people. I say, talk, 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 talk. How can you enjoy your day when you share it with everyone? Time is a private thing. The dragon hides it from us all. Hmm, Akatosh. Parceling it out in dribs and traps. Save your time. Save your time. I keep mine locked up tight, where no one can find it. Not even him. Hold me now. Not even him. So when they say that, I'm hearing this from people. I think they're all referring to Shiagorath. Rock me gently. My tears are burning, dear. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Hold your breath. One big one now. One last gasp, and we're done. He talks all the time, but his words are useless. Talking, talking. Let's talk. Never doing. Always talking. Words become meaningless. They float on the air. Dissipate like past gas. Make him stop talking. Make him stop talking to me. Always take care when dealing with women. They sing, see things we do not. A smile, a glance. They mean nothing to us. Everything to them. They twist their smiles to meet our own. They avert a gaze just so. Watch them closely. They rule the world. They just don't know it. Am I indecisive? Yes and no. They came to bring me food today. I ate it. Oh, he was in prison. Is that what it said at the beginning? This stone floor. Author's cell. Okay. Uh, I came to bring me food today. I ate it, though I know it was poisoned. They lace it with black flour and edge root. They think it keeps me quiet. Sedate. I know better. Sometimes I chew up the bread and spit it into the corners of my cell. No one notices, and the rats eat it after a time. It keeps them quiet. Sedate. When I eat the rats, the poison is more dilute, and I gain their memories. Oh, this person's really lost it. I have actually seen people like this in, um, in the Imperial Prison, where they just completely lost their mind, and they talk themselves, and rattle on incessantly about things that aren't actually happening. But, yeah, if you, uh, you're spitting food into the corners, you're just going to bring the rats more. I don't believe it's fair that I'm forced to deal with the stupid or the obtuse or the pedantic. Yet they give me rules like go here and do that and eat this and kill that. They don't know that I know their names. Eventually I'll get to them and I'll make the rules. Just you wait and see. Good gods come and go, but all lords eventually fall. A god can wake up mortal. If I learn from my mistakes, will I eventually stop making them? Well, that's kind of the point. Is there a balance I can achieve? A perfect harmony with myself? Shall I seek that point where there are no more mistakes to be made? Or wouldn't that become perfection? That's what I wish to attain. 
All the lessons learned? When that happens, do we die? Do we become gods? Do the gods even want us? Maybe all dogs go outside deliberately. <laughs> Maybe a decision gets overly deliberate. Might a dream grow overly demented? Who knows? Who knows? He know no, he knows, he knows, he knows. Stories are for children and dreamers. Poetry is for weaklings and madmen. Epics glorify the vile and vilify the glorious. Read minds, not words. I think it's time to go. He's still in my head, but I think he might leave if I'm quiet. Shh, shh. Yes, I do think he's speaking of, um... Shigorath. Alright. I'd like to say let's get out of Crazy Town, but uh, we're stuck in it. Well, this if this goes to the road, I didn't see this. I was leaning to the <laughs> You don't scare me. I'm not going to grow my mother. Well, I don't know what's down here, and I don't plan to go into every little hole I come across unless I have a cause to. So let's return to uh, Nushioth and speak to Shigorath. Hey, what's that? I kill you! Are they? Oh, they're heretics. Quite a lot of them, actually. <laughs> well, let's give them a good poison. Find one. Here's one. Obviously, that wasn't his summonings. Are you? Is my Daedra attacking Wolf? Wolfgang? Miss. How did I miss? Stupid Dramora. What is this little building that they're around? Interesting. Well, there's statues here. Looking straight, there's no statues here. This one's looking up, this one's looking down. Some septums. Alright, I don't think I'm heading the way I thought I was. But yes, I am. This place is not on the map. There's the path. Okay, back to New Sheoff we go. Oh, so we've made it quite, well, not quite far, we're about halfway to Nishioth, but I just noticed this along the way. So since I activated Chris, oh, more of those, uh, what do you call those? Ah, it's hunger. This crystal has been activated. Knights of the Order, they have mages. Ah. So this has been activated, but it draws them to it. Do I want to place a Heart of Order into the obelisk? Uh, let's try it. I'm not afraid of you. I brought one out. You think you can beat me? Go ahead! Gotcha! These ones don't take... Whoa! I'm getting hit! These don't take... I can't even That's touch it. Ah! Can Is there more? Let's get out of here. This place is supposed to... Isn't it supposed to uh, protect the island? Seems like it's really doing that. But it wasn't activated before, and I have seen at least one other crystal like that around the island. I think there's one closer to Shioth. Okay, let's continue back. Well, I'm here. This one is not activated. Yes? Alright, so I'm gonna have to go... 
and explore the whole city. Fun way to see what's in here. See Shigura. Interesting uh, throne room. Water. Well, look who's here. You! Uh, How about that? This almost reminds me of White Run in Skyrim. Oh, they have the water coming down. All right. Well, now, what news do you have to report? I was attacked by knights. So soon? Not a surprise, I suppose. We'll get to that later. No need to burden your little brain with it now. And Zedillion, since you're standing here, I assume you've succeeded. Or you're terribly confused. Or really lacking in good judgment! Sometimes I wonder if it's not all three. Uh, Zedillion functions once more. Wonderful! Time for a celebration! Cheese for everyone! Wait! Scratch that! Cheese for no one! Why? That can be just as much of a celebration if you don't like cheese, true? You've run a maze like a good little rat. But no cheese for you yet. Oh, well, maybe a little. I've granted you a new spell. The ability to summon Haskell, my chamberlain, <laughs> to aid you in your travels. Really? He knows a lot. More than he knows. He knows more than he knows, huh? In fact, give it a try. Summon our friend to you now. I'll wait. Uh, he's right here. Okay. Let's summon. There he is. Ah, our Lord has granted you the power to summon me. How wonderful for me. When summoned, I can offer advice on your current endeavor. I imagine it's up to you what to do with my wisdom. Do try to use your power sparingly. I have duties to which I must attend. Rather more important than shepherding you around, I'm sure. Hmm. Well, this will be interesting. But I really want to go see all of New Shioth. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.